welcome to our daily prayers. It's Wednesday and so we're continuing with our theme of thanks and one I've got today is actually thank you for my Cocker Spaniel. Um, he was looking at me, was it last night, the night before, I can't remember now, and I was getting his bowl of food out and he sat there and he tilted his head to one side and looked at me like he was expecting something. <laughs> to be honest, he looked really cute. Um, a number of us will have pets and they're gifts from God. They add a great deal of joy to our lives. Um, um, you may not have a pet and you might like to think of something else to thank God for. But I must admit this morning, I give thanks for Alfie, my Cocker Spaniel. Let's come before God now. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so we're doing once again Psalm 100 today. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. The picture here is of God as shepherd. We are his sheep. Um, and interestingly, it says he who made us, obviously he created us and we are his. I wonder how true that is of your and my life. How much are we gods? Or is God a sort of one thing we run in our lives, a bit like a hobby, but we have another other number of other things that we serve? Or is God God of your life? It's quite a challenge here this morning. It comes out a very joyful psalm, but the joy comes from the fact that at the centre of this psalmist's mind and heart, God resides. He has made us and we are his. What will that mean to you today to be one of his, one of his sheep with a caring shepherd? What might that look like in your life to be his today? A chance to reflect now. And so, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so as we go from here, my prayer is with these words will stick with us throughout today. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who has made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen.